Frank Gruber, somewhatfrank.com. Today I'm at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Uh, they're doing a little bit of construction behind me, so you might be able to see some of the cones, and it's also quite loud. But uh, I'm going to be checking out the Lincoln exhibit. It's just uh, arrived today, and it's got some of Lincoln's artifacts. I am on the steps of the Library of Congress right now. You might be able to see over here, beautiful view. You've got the Capitol behind me, and we're kind of panning, uh, and we're going to head into the Library of Congress. It's a very interesting looking building. We'll check it out. I'm actually at the Library of Congress right now with Matt Raymond. He's a director of communications, and he, want, he basically just organized this whole uh, pitch today with, what is it? It is the uh, 200th birthday of Lincoln on February 12th, and we are the uh, national exhibition for uh, Abraham Lincoln's bicentennial, and uh, it opens February 12th, and it runs through May 9th, and it's oh, May 9th free. birthday, perfect. Oh, great. <laughs> free and open to the public, and then it travels to five different American cities. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. so what does it include exactly? Well, this is uh, probably the uh, most premier assemblage of Lincoln items that we've had on display for at least 50 years. Wow. We've got the largest collection of Lincoln items in the world. Wow. Uh, there are treasures that include uh, the Emancipation Proclamation. It's the version that Lincoln presented to his cabinet in 1862 to uh, actually mixed reaction. Uh, we have uh, the first two copies of the Gettysburg Address, including the one that uh, Lincoln pulled from his pocket and read from at Gettysburg. Wow. We have the first and second inaugural addresses. The second inaugural address, along with the Gettysburg ad mm -hmm. uh, address, is considered uh, one of his two best speeches. In fact, that's the one that uh, gives us the line that uh, the exhibition is based on with malice toward none, with charity for all. Right. It's about bringing the country back together. And you actually have that artifact. Oh, we actually, all these are original wow. documents. These are in Lincoln's hand. These are. Wow. Uh, amazing. Very rare and priceless objects, and it's really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity Definitely. for folks. Well, I'm excited to be here. I just I stepped in for a second. I saw there was a scrapbook too. Tell me about the scrapbook. Yeah, one of the items is uh, the really the only existing record or contemporaneous record of the Lincoln-Douglas debate that right. uh, was kept by Abraham Lincoln in 1858. Okay, he compiled a scrapbook with newspaper clippings, both from Republican papers and Democrat papers right. that were you know very much partisan at the time, mm -hmm. uh, and it really is. Is the only record that exists. Of those so that, that's the uh, the history of uh, bookmarking right there. Today you might use Delicious or maybe even Facebook to, to you know stick your, your bookmarks on different links or whatnot. Then it was then it was cutting papers. and pasting. Cutting Absolutely. and pasting, and he literally did that. So he was Absolutely. a big scrapbooker. I wonder if he'd be a scrapbooker today. But anyway, what other kinds of things are, are here that might be interesting to people? Well, uh, in addition to these priceless documents, there are a lot of uh, interesting, what we call you know, three-dimensional objects, for okay, instance. So interactive, like technology kind well, of Well, yeah, we, we have that. In fact, uh, two of the more interesting interactives that we have uh, trace uh, the journey by train that he took from Springfield to come to Washington, right. D.C., and you can Same zoom in. Same one that Obama kind of tried to... Well, absolutely, right. and you can yeah. zoom in on any particular day and see newspaper accounts. Right. And then at the end, mm -hmm. sort of the bookend, is right. the journey that his coffin, the, a uh, funeral procession right. took from Washington back to, back to Springfield. But in terms of other items, we have uh, one of our top treasures is the contents of his pockets on the night that he was assassinated. One of the curiosities is he was carrying a $5 Confederate note. Uh, he traveled to Richmond about a week before his assassination, and the theory is that something of a keepsake for him. Mm, gotcha. uh, the first, uh, the earliest known uh, photograph of Lincoln that was taken either in 1846 or 47. So it's just a, it's amazing. It's a treasure yeah. trove of items. Definitely. I'm excited to check it out and I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk to me about it. Great. Thanks for coming. So check it out if you get a chance. Library of Congress. It's open until May 9th. And loc.gov slash Lincoln. It's right. the online exit. So you can check it. Okay. So you can check it out online too. Absolutely. Okay. Great. So I'm here inside the exhibit, and you can check out, this is the earliest, or it's one of the five drafts of the uh, Gettysburg Address, which is, you know, one of America's favorite, um, most uh, popular and famous speeches. So, kind of cool. Pretty interesting. Uh, I think you should come check it out if you can at the Library of Congress uh, in Washington, D.C. Um, and just, uh, it's amazing the amount of artifacts that they actually have. Uh, everything from, you know, first photos to, uh, you know, what he, what he was wearing, carrying in his pocket when he was assassinated. It's a pretty comprehensive exhibit uh, for Abraham Lincoln. Frank Gruber, summerfrank.com.